Hi, I'm Lou Remisar of RemisarArtworks.com. First and foremost, I want to thank all of you for purchasing my paintings and my prints. I truly appreciate the support. A lot of you have been asking uh, how I do my paintings, so I'm doing this little video to give you an idea of what my process is like. Uh, my paintings are really about exploration, uh, about the relationship between the surface I paint on, the materials I use, and gravity. So let me talk about the materials a little bit. I've been experimenting with all sorts of surfaces to paint on, uh, canvas being the first one and the obvious one. And I like canvas, but I like painting in large scale, so it becomes sort of prohibitively expensive. But I found an alternative that I like better, and that's hardboard, otherwise known as masonite. It's very durable, it has no chemicals in it because it's made from compressed wood fiber and with steam and pressure. Okay. This is what it looks like. This is hardboard. I buy the eighth inch thick. You can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, any lumber yard. Okay? It's relatively inexpensive, six bucks for a sheet that's four foot by eight foot. And I have them cut it into three sections the long way. So I end up with three sections that are this size, 32 inches by 48. Okay? I can further cut that in half and end up with this size, which is 32 by 24. And I can cut this in half and end up with this size, which is 16 by 24. In either case, you have a smooth side and we have a rough side. I can use either, but I prefer the rough side. Most people paint on the smooth side. I prefer the rough side because it has sort of a canvas-like texture and paint adheres to it much better. But in order to use it, I need to prep it. And I'm gonna show you how to prep it. First thing I do is I sand this side with a piece of sandpaper to get all the rough stuff off. Just lightly sand it. Then I waterproof it with something like this. Uh, stuff you use for decks, like Thompson's Water Seal or Jasco or any of those brands. Do a light coat on both sides. Then I sand it again and I start to prime it. But before I do that, as you can see, this is very flexible and it has a tendency to warp. So what I do is I build an armature to mount it on. And I'll show you how to do that. I do that with one by two pine. The conferring strips. They're fair and in relatively inexpensive. An eight foot length of this costs about 98 cents. And what I do is using a miter saw, I have a power saw, but you can do it with a hand saw. I cut 45 degree angles, the length of the, the width of the canvas and the length of the canvas. And I cut two, one for each side, top, bottom, left and right side. And I put these together with a staple gun. I staple them together so that the corners match perfectly. And what I end up with is something like this that looks like a frame. Okay? I also waterproof this because I don't want any of the oils in the wood to seep into the painting. Then, using plain old white glue, uh, carpenter's glue, Elmer's glue, you know, that kind of glue. I put beads all around this framing, this mount, and I mount the masonite directly on top of it, and using tiny little brads, I nail it all around. Then, I waterproof the whole thing again, and I use, a lot of people, a lot of painters use something called gesso to prep a canvas. Uh, I like using materials from the hardware store. So what I use is just plain old house primer. And I do three coats of primer and I sand them between. And then what I end up with it's something like this. And this is my painting surface. Okay, now, how do I paint? Okay. I paint 
on a flat surface. I get my table perfectly level. I put my canvas down. And then I play with tilting the canvas in one direction or another a few degrees. That gives me the direction in which the paint is going to run. And then I use all kinds of methods to deliver the paint. Uh, I use spray bottles. I use squeeze bottles. I use, I use brushes. I use syringes. Anything and everything to deliver the paint and experiment. And then I let the paint run so that gravity does the work. The interesting thing about the work for me is that once I start applying the paint, the paint, the painting itself and the paint start talking to me. So it becomes interactive. The painting tells me I need more blue here, I need more red here, I need more color here, I need more paint here. And eventually it tells me when it's done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, that you know a little bit more about my process. Thank you for watching.